Primary election day has come and gone in Pennsylvania, but the status quo remains in the state house in Harrisburg. It could have flipped from Democrat to Republican, but it didn't. Dennis Owens is here with all the details. Good afternoon, Dennis. Good afternoon to you, James. There were two special elections, not primaries, actual elections to fill vacant state house seats yesterday. All eyes on the 163rd district in Delaware County. Republicans hope they could steal it. The district leans Democrat. Democratic candidate Heather Boyd easily defeated Republican Katie Ford. Polls suggested it would be close. It wasn't. Boyd got more than 62% of the vote. Had Ford won, Republicans would have regained control of the state house. Democrats hold on, but it's still a very slim one seat majority, which makes actual governing even more difficult. When sworn in, the state house will be at full complement. 203 members, 102 of them Democrats, 101 of them Republicans. Speaking of Republicans, it was also a special election in the 108th House District. I'm showing you a firefighter because that district is in Northumberland and Montour counties. No surprise, Republican Michael Stender of Sunbury was victorious. That was never in question. It's a GOP stronghold. What is surprising, Michael Stender, a full-time Harrisburg firefighter who works in a station on 16th and State Streets, he's now moving down to the Capitol building at 3rd and State Street. It's crazy that, that uh, they're at third and state. I'm now going to get to be a member and vote on, you know, the decisions that affect uh, health and safety and livelihoods of all firemen, volunteer and career here in the state of Pennsylvania. So it's pretty exciting at this point. It's it's really it's surreal. Congratulations to Michael. He's going to have to give up the firefighting gig. He, w he went to Bloomsburg and uh, was in political science, but said he pursued a career in firefighting. He now says, James, that he's moving from one dream job to another. He's coming to the state house, and what I think is cool, he drives one of the fire trucks and says, when I pull out, I see that Capitol every single day, and now I'm going down there to work. That, that is amazing, <laughs> and he doesn't have far to go from, from, from the firehouse there to the Capitol. And, um, and, and, and him being a firefighter, it gives him a he's gonna, perspective He's going to give there. up the firefighting thing because he has, as he said, he has three daughters and he intends to be a full-time lawmaker. He was an intern while in college for the House Republicans. Merle Phillips was the, uh, was the state representative. So he now is, has the seat that he was an intern in when he was in college. And he'll, he'll have a good perspective, though, when it comes to funding for emergency services, which is something that they do that a lot he, of. He mentioned that's a priority for him now coming down here. And he's also talking about farmers and agriculture because there's lots of farmers in his mm -hmm. district. That's going to be one of his priorities as well. All right. Yes. But the, the House Democrats hold on to the seat. Yep. Big headline there. Yep. All right. Thank you very much thank for you, that. James.